We are back again, the Thunder and Lightning Summer Catfish Tour presented by Superior Catfish, and we're starting off at home here at Obie's, a Starkville institution. Everybody knows the Po' Boys. You need to know the catfish. It's Superior Catfish. It's some of the best in town, and we're here. We're really excited. A little lighter this year. You're a little lighter. I'm a little lighter. I'm a little lighter. I cut my hair. You've lost a ton of weight. We're still going to eat some catfish. I, I, I may have lost some weight, but I didn't lose any appetite. <laughs> Great show lined up today. Coach Chris Jans will be here pretty soon. We'll talk some basketball with him. Plus, Charlie Winfield from the Bulldog Initiative is going to be here. I wanted to talk to him because when you come to Obie's, you can give to the Bulldog Initiative. It's only 31 cents at a time, but hey, every dollar counts. So we'll talk to Charlie. Plus, we'll have some fun. Our friend Brent Johnson is here from Superior Catfish. Will he join us? We'll have to find out, plus a lot more. We'll see you very soon. We're going inside, we're getting some catfish. And some chips in the hotel. Yes. We're like it, they We are live at Obie's here for the Summer Catfish Tour, Superior Catfish, the first stop here in Starkville, Mississippi. And we are joined. I made this joke on the podcast. I'm going to make it again, though. My actual dentist office is right across the street there. <laughs> but Chris Jans is joining us here to start us off. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for being here with us, Coach. Uh, we really appreciate it. Yeah, it's good to be here. When you kind of dig into this roster and you look at the pieces that you've added into it with uh, the transfers that you picked up, was there more of an emphasis on getting an offensive player in the portal to go around, build around Josh Hubbard a little bit this year? Well, if you remember, I don't know if you guys were there uh, or not. Last summer when I had my press conference, kind of about the same time I did this summer, just a couple weeks ago, I made a joke in the room and I'm not a funny guy, obviously, and, and it didn't go over that well. Like nobody laughed and I, I was waiting all- We just have a good sense of humor. I, I was waiting all spring, man. I said, hey, we're gonna shoot the ball better this year. You know, and they all kind of looked at me, you know, and I'm like, hey guys, we were last in the country last year. So it wasn't like I was going out on a limb, you know. Now, today, I feel as if we're gonna shoot the ball better next year. Um, so that that rise is something I'm sure the fans uh, love hearing. Uh, I know I, I love walking in the gym and we, we've been going for a week now and we, we kind of just put our toe in, in, the, in the shallow end, if you will, with what we're doing. but. It's just nice to watch him work out individual and small groups and, and the ball just goes in the hole more often than it did last year at this time. And we've got more people um, that, that you know have nice strokes and uh, shown some ability already before getting here that they can put the ball in the basket. And um, But we're gonna have to play different. I mean, you know, we don't have as much size and as much um, athleticism maybe and, and ability around the basket that we've had since we've arrived. but. The game's also trending, you know, away from that a little bit as well. And um, we'll have to have some adjustments for sure. This is the man that single-handedly. I need you to talk to my wife if we're talking against appreciation. Is she here? here. I'll, talk, I'll talk to her. Lovely woman. Single-handedly got Mississippi State going in the right direction from the NIL perspective. A man who just one day just said to himself, somebody's got to do something because a certain administrator certainly wasn't going to. He's not in here. And we took off from there, from the Bulldog Initiative, Charlie Winfield. This is, you know why I wanted to have you here. I just want to let you know that every now and then you get my 31 cents when I, when I round up here. Hey, and believe it or not, that roundup actually makes a really big difference for us. And, you know, Air Spencer's, the guys here at Obie's, they were the first people to do that for us. And it makes a real difference. On top of your full-time job, you needed some help and you got it. I mean, kind of tell me a little bit about your staff and how that process kind of transpired over the last couple of years. Well, when we first started going, obviously the one thing that we really wanted to do was be fiscally responsible. We didn't want to be taking money and making bad use of it. And so we didn't want to lose money unnecessarily on overhead and things like that. And so for the better part of a year, it was my daughter and me, uh, both working as volunteers. And after a period of time, you just start to understand, we've got to touch more people. We have to have more support. And so we were able to bring on Emmy Perkins, who spent a, a year as Miss Mississippi just recently. And she's been outstanding. You talk about a heart for service, uh, because one of the things you have to know is it, NIL is not just about grabbing money. You try to do good things and you try to activate athletes to do good things. 
One of the things you mentioned that we were doing throughout the summer is you have football players going to the Starville Public Library and reading. We had 70 something kids there yesterday in just the second week. And so every Wednesday, you've got four players going there. But in addition to that, on Thursday mornings during the school year, we have eight athletes in third grade classrooms across the city of Starville reading to kids, interacting with them. And you try to harness the power uh, of an athlete and their you know, their influence over kids. And Emmy has been absolutely outstanding in helping with that. And then, you know, you've got 200 athletes that you're dealing with. And Marcus Grant, who coached at Mississippi State, who played here, was a two-time team captain. And if it hadn't been for UCLA beating Missouri on the buzzer beater, probably would have been our first Final Four guy in, in 1995. Well, Marcus uh, has just been absolutely outstanding working with us as well. So feel really good about where we are uh, staff-wise now. Let's wrap it up with Aaron Spencer, owner of Obie's, <laughs> a restaurant that I frequent probably far too often. He would tell me I'm not here uh, enough, but tell us about your relationship with Superior Catfish. The uh, Superior, we've, uh, of course, being a Mississippi restaurant, we want to use a Mississippi product. What's that relationship been like with, with some of them? It seems like it, everybody we talk to talks about the relationship, even beyond it, how good the fish is, the relationship that you get with those people. Absolutely. They, uh, I mean, they, they're in the restaurant. Uh, I've got their phone numbers. So if I've got an issue, I can text or call them directly. Uh, you know, and that's, I can't say that there's many other companies that I work with that I, that I have that. Uh, you know, my, my chicken tender supplier, I don't have their number. I have to go to somebody else. So, the, uh, uh, so that's uh, definitely something that's kind of new for us. I mean, we're, we're uh, two restaurants and, and everything like that. And to have somebody that values your business that much is, is, is definitely important to us as well. I'm glad we don't have to work anymore today because I just want to go home and take a nap. Yeah, that was delicious. One of the best two stops in town, I think, for catfish. The other little Dewey, which, by the way, also serves superior catfish. Uh, the bottom line. Not go wrong with either one, but this place is excellent. It's been a staple in Starville for a long time, and we're glad we were part of it today. If your catfish restaurant isn't selling superior catfish, you're not eating superior catfish. We'll make it pretty clear to you. Next week, we already know the schedule. It's, we've really upgraded over yes. last year. Boyle, Mississippi, the Catfish Cabin. We are headed to the Delta, which is going to be a really good time. Looking forward to that. Of course, this will be available on Super Talk's YouTube channel very soon. And of course, wherever you get the Thunder and Lightning podcast. One of the 5,000 new episodes we've downloaded. Yes, yes. Check it out. Stop one is done. Stop two is next week. We'll see you there as we continue the Thunder and Lightning Catfish Tour presented by Superior Catfish. Catfish.